Okay, we've kind of, we've broken it down so all the other scenes, there's been a bit of dialogue and everything. This is pure emotion. So the building blocks of what we've all learned, now it comes to this. What's the key frame for the scene? That's the key frame right there. This over the shoulder where he walks in the door at that moment and looks to his mom first and then walks up the stairs. Second question, what type of key light did I use with Francis at the doorway? The type of light, remember the five things. You had the you know, reflection in the eye, the wedge, the drop shadow, the, those, eye shadow, right? So I've, I brought the light around so it's creating that eye shadow onto his his face to kind of feel a little more damaged and kind of ashamed and, and understanding the weight of the situation. What did I do with the fill light to assist in conveying his, Francis's emotions? We removed it. There it is right there. And this was where I was thinking of this is hope, okay? And I'll kind of talk you through the scene in a second, but there it is where it's gone, okay? The mom, completely basked in warm light. She's been the one that is there for Francis, that is, has taken him and, and kind of encouraged him and supported him the whole time. So I basked her in this very warm light. Yes, unbleached muslin outside there, absolutely. The key frame. Now... When I did this sequence, I lit this like this, and, and Bill Paxton was a little worried. He was like, Shane, what's going on here? It's, I gotta be able to see his emotions, and, and I gotta be able to see the tear. And I go, Bill, don't worry. Uh, it's all gonna be there. But I said, this is the analogy. So this is his dream. This is giving up on his dream. So darkness and the light. When I read this scene, it said that he walked into the doorway, the screen door closed, and he looked to his mom. So I'm immediately starting to put, okay, the dream is gonna be the outside, the light's gonna be coming in, and then I'm gonna make this area just dark. And, and he's like half lit or with the eye shadow, so he looks damaged. And then we cut into his close up and he looks at his mom, and there's just enough detail. And that light right there was the light coming from her window, okay? And then she's like, you know, and then to the dad, and you can just barely see that tear welling up in his eye. And he knows he made good on his promise, and he goes up, the, and look how dark he is when he goes up there. There's no detail. Now, Bill wanted this moment in his room to be kind of a personal moment where he's taking in everything that he loved about the game, all of his playbook, all the golf balls, all the stuff that's going on, and he hears the roar of the crowd. They're still playing the championship, and he's right next to them. We go with him. One more glimpse of what he's giving up. I just loved the scene and the light and the way it feels here. And it's, all, it's just ricocheted off the wall. That's what's key in him. It's all just hitting this wall, and that's the bounce light. And now he goes to his mentor, his hero, the one that inspired him. No light in his eyes. Okay? He looks down on it. And Bill wanted this glimmer of hope. Like, is he really going to give up on his dream? Is he going to, to just give it all away? And there's this moment, and Shia looks up, and I brought in this little silver card that I ricocheted off the 18K that was coming through the window and gave him that moment. And then he looks down, and then he crumbles it up, and then I take the fill light away. So his eyes just go black. And that's just diving into his emotions. 
So that's kind of, you know, sometimes you take light away and you uh, again continue to, to assist in this whole storytelling process. I cannot stress enough that it is so much fun to kind of guide all of you. So uh, I'm really excited. It's, it's one of my favorite things to do. Mm -hmm.